sure, but I'm, I'm saying the odds are in my favor. But there's an 88% chance that I could be correct. <laughs> <laughs> afternoon, morning, evening, whatever the time may be. Welcome to another exciting episode of Old Black Men Conversations. I'm your host, David H. Dutton III, a.k.a. Sweet Sunny D, a.k.a. Cakey, a.k.a. Mulligan Stew. And you are? <laughs> Not Mulligan Stew. <laughs> I'm the real Cliff Barnes, as usual, and uh, CB, CB, CB. That would, yeah, that was one. Oh, yeah. yeah, definitely the CB. Okay. And I'm Jake Walker, boy Wanda, Shake It Boo Old Z. I show up when you don't expect me to. And you ever? Hello, I'm uh, Gary Green, street philosopher. And I um, have to apologize for last week. Uh, when I got home, I realized I was not in focus. So uh, am I in focus this week? No, okay. you're not. Oh, you look, you look a little fuzzy. fuzzy. You look fuzzy. OK. Well, just edit me out. No, wait a minute. I think it's pixelated. <laughs> yeah. I haven't been taking my medicine. That's OK, that we'll, we'll, do we'll get that fixed. That's <laughs> 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 all <Not so low. laughs> <laughs> so, okay. so somebody brought up uh, an interesting subject about uh, did you ever wish you were white? I didn't. You didn't? No. Me neither. I did. I was in the entertainment field and it seemed to be a fashion to, to me that everybody was trying to look white, you know. But they weren't getting the same privileges and stuff. I said, well, first I started off with if I was just a little lighter or, you know, maybe a shade is wrong or something like that. And eventually, I came to the conclusion that if I had been white with my attitude and stuff, I would have went a lot further in that field out there. And that's the only reason. Or well, maybe I got a lot of white. I didn't think they were smarter than us. What was your attitude? Huh? I said maybe the jail. What your well, attitude? I avoided you? the jail. I mean, I had a thing about being incarcerated when I was about seventh grade. Me and the kids used to hang out late at night, and we decided one night that we we're going to be that juvenile and break schoolhouse windows from a block away. And I hit the, I hit them two of them, and, and one of them got caught and ratted on everybody else in the group. So we all had to spend three days in juvenile. Mm -hmm. And I found out when I was incarcerated that I had claustrophobia. I was claustrophobic. So I can't be caged up. And that's like a death sentence for me because the wall swell. It did to me like acid. The wall swell. I can't hardly breathe in there good. And three days my mom came and saw me. <laughs> and she, she was sad. You know what's coming, right? You know, I'm thinking the whooping is coming after I get out and everything like that. And then she said, looked at me and she said, you know, <laughs> you look so pitiful. <laughs> and I had me a candy bar. <laughs> you use the old pitiful look. You know, I, had, you know, I had to because yeah, I went in with a partner of mine named Jimmy Jones and he was fearful of his dad and everything. And when they put him in there and they said, he was the first one to get out. And they said, uh, your father's here to pick you up. He said, oh, no, no, leave me here. <laughs> he didn't want to go home. <laughs> he cried like a baby that day. We but, never but wasn't what that a good thing, though? Huh? Wasn't that a good thing? It was a good thing. Well, yeah. you know, but I don't, I don't want to live in fear of my father and stuff like that. You know, but still. Terrified. 
you know. But well, that kept I'm me like that kept me out of trouble over going home. <laughs> that kept me out of a lot of trouble because it's like I didn't want my mom to come down and, yeah. and, and, oh, yeah. and have to bear me I got, out. Yeah, I got three hacks for it. I got three hacks for it. Yeah, well, you know. And then I went to the school dance that night after getting three hacks and gave an epidemic of the mumps to the junior high school. <laughs> <laughs> I had the mumps and didn't even know it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, if you look at my so you probably brain, caught it in juvenile. Yeah, I did. Yeah, probably. Yeah. And when I went to the, uh, when we took our pictures for seventh grade, you could see it. My whole face was swollen up. Oh, God, here's a man. Well, well what's, what's going on now? <laughs> <laughs> well, it ain't the mumps. Not the way my face is shrinking here. That ain't the mumps. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, I mean, hey, so you, usually so, you do a little differently. You just so 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 do you, do you think all that would have happened if you would have been white? Oh, if I'd been white, I wouldn't have been hanging with the nigga that night. <laughs> <laughs> Not necessarily. The pre elvis pre elvis Yeah. What's that? Hanging with the niggas, looking in looking in the window of the church. Uh, learning how to do it. Oh uh, no! Take it to the stage. <laughs> oh, no, no, there wasn't no stage in our church. Yeah. Well, well, no, the stage didn't show business. Elvis, remember him? Uh, well, yeah, definitely. That was my number one dude. When I went to St. Louis to stay with my grandma when I was four, and we have, you know, this large family, we have tele shows, right, on Saturday night, you know, and. Everybody get up and we had the singers, we had the, you know, the you dancers. Used to do, you used to do Elvis? I did Elvis. Well, I was for the money, the two for the show. <laughs> <laughs> and well, that used to tickle them so bad, they make me do it every time we had a time show. I had to get, up, get the broom and do my Elvis press. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was, I don't know, maybe that had some seed with me wanting to be white or something like that. I thought he was uh -huh. Probably broaden your horizon. You didn't realize it at the time. I don't know what it did. But you were still black. I didn't think I was. Your horizon. Well, was, you, you didn't know you were. What you I mean? didn't know. Yeah. I, yeah. you know, I didn't look at it that yeah. way. Yeah, I had no color barrier. Well, I, you know, I, yeah. I don't think at, at that age any any of us really do. Uh, or any of us really did. I, but I noticed. I, I noticed when I was coming up that a lot of white kids were teaching me a lot of bad habits. I didn't know how to steal. I didn't know how to do none of that. Well, you know, I took an inner tube out in the middle of the lake, of Moses Lake, with just some fins on in the inner tube. I'm way out in the deepest part of that water, in the middle, and I ain't had that. I was doing it because, you know, like the dude said, he, well, you know, he could do it. And I said, well, anything you can do, I can do, you know. Went out there, you know, about three years later, I almost drowned in that same damn lake. Messing around with them white boys. He yeah. took me in a store one day, showed me the thing, because, you know, back in them days, we had the double mint corduroys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. And so he said, take this uh, one of them push pops, what was the long, you remember the little ice, what is it, what is it called? Is it candy? Popsicle. No, popsicle. popsicle. It's the long ones. Oh, you push them up? You the push them up. Yeah. The rocket and the plastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the plastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, no, no. Oh, oh, the other one. The, 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 the push up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just yeah. like, oh, yeah. push up. I, he said, take these and you slide it down in your pants in between the, the, <laughs> the two layers, right? And he just went in there all wild and crazy. He was just stuffing shit down. There and all the time somewhere was watching this. That happens. And I thought I got away with it and I was going out the door. I was get, headed towards the door and all of a sudden one of them just slid right out of the floor. <laughs> my so ragged man, my, my double knit suit. Oh my goodness. Peeled up the bottom and everything. Messed me all up for the thieving part. And every time I get, did something crazy with a nigga, I remember one time this nigga talked me into going in this house and stuff like that. <laughs> and as soon as he got caught, he not only told him, he brought the police to the house. Wow. This was a friend. Yeah, he was <laughs> be my best friend. You need to hang, you need to hang out with me. Hey. It actually sounds like you had a, 
I was starved for friendship. <laughs> yeah, so why why did you mm -hmm. want to be white? Huh? Oh, well, that was back when I was younger. Yeah. Well, I wanted to be white and stuff like that. That's oh, the time yeah. that came. He grew, out, he grew out, out of that. I grew out of that quick, you know. So I that. got around enough niggas and I was cool. Yeah. Hey, well, you yeah, know. I never wanted to be white, but they always did cool stuff. Yeah. And I, they always had the best shit, too. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Well, that came later. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I mean, I started out as a child. As my most people Bill, do. Bill Cosby. But they always had the cool stuff. And when, you, when you're when watching uh, Rough and Ready mm -hmm. or Sky King in the morning, they go to commercial. They got the cool toys. Yeah. Exactly. You know, so they had the first bicycle. You know, yeah, they all that. So they learned me out. I had a weather station when I was a kid. I had a video camera when I was twelve, and uh, but I never really wanted to. Nah, it, that just didn't with? hit me. But yeah. I always liked what they it had. Yeah. The cool stuff. I thought I was missing out because I didn't. I wasn't white. You know, a little bit. Maybe you probably. We, we all probably did. This <laughs> <laughs> out on some stuff because we wasn't white. I can't say that I really wished I was white. I just really wishing I had what some of the advantages that they had back then. Well, the thing right. is, looking back, there's so much that all they had to do was share a little bit, uh -huh. and we wouldn't have uh, Half the, problem. the problems we're having today. Exactly. Just share exactly. a little bit because there is enough for everybody, <laughs> you know, so. Uh, oh, that's Utopia. Who? Utopia. Yeah, I bought one of them, but it didn't last long. Wheels kept falling off. <laughs> no. I tried to trick with my It was never I tried to trick. No. no. <laughs> society. Society. A society where everybody's equal and everybody's got the same things and the same privileges. Oh, that's why that's a utopian cool. society. Well, everybody you has the same thing. It don't, yeah. I mean, okay. the, the, the theory is everybody has the same thing, then people won't want to take stuff from other yeah, people because yeah. they all got it. Yeah, but you know, when but you're that, genetically that, wired to be evil, it doesn't matter. No, but the whole thing is... In a utopian society, everybody has everything, you know, we're all on the same level, etc. Sure. But there's always going to be that one person who figures I could have more power if I took some of yours yeah, and some of yours and some of yours. Yeah. That's kind of a human trait. Yeah. Which is why utopian societies have never worked over the millennia. So humans basically, I don't want to say all humans, because we uh, all yeah. come from different tribes. But the tribes that seem to be the successful, depending on how you measure success, mm -hmm. are the ones that develop weapons mm -hmm. and use the weapons to knock you over your head of for course. reasons they don't even understand. There's enough water for everybody to drink? No. I'm going to knock you in your head because I want your water too. Exactly. Mm -hmm. you know. And so then I'm going to go and corrupt another part and, they, and and the thing is, well, we can't beat them with our hands, so we'll we'll use sticks and we'll use rocks and stuff. And then so, sticks and rocks wasn't enough, and weapons and on and on that, and on. That goes back to uh, who on this planet is of this planet, and who is an alien predator who has the evil gene and is constantly moving forward or moving in that, in that aspect of things. I think he's the one that the Mayans were worshiping. I ain't never figured out that sacrifice part yet. Okay. How did we go from slavery to sacrificing and stuff? You know? Slavery is ancient, but I, so I take exception to you using alien and predator in the same term. Why? Because two you humans movies. It was a terrible movie. It was two different, <laughs> <laughs> it was two different movies. <laughs> Alien was one, there was the other. And when they fought each other, that was a terrible movie. <laughs> but I'm not a critic. Okay. <laughs> okay. Why do you assume movies standing uh, set aside? Aliens are, ne are necessarily predators or come here to do Earth people harm? Because there are people here 
who don't have the evil gene, and there are people that do. How did that happen? Uh, that, that happened when aliens planted, well, a couple of ways. Let's see, you're human. What level do I want to try to describe? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, you know, hey, there's a lot of folks running around that may or may not be human. Okay. Some people we question, yeah. other people we just uh, assume yeah, that they're the human. The same answer to the question that we started with last time was about where does this barbarism come, really come from and stuff, you know, because some people look up in the sky and they see angels, some people look up in the sky and see demons, you know. But, yeah, you know. But the whole, the whole thing is, as far as the human race goes, that good versus evil trait goes across human lines. There's good and good and evil people in today. every ethnicity, every culture, every you know, I mean it just that's apparently it's something that's inherent in our genealogical makeup. No, and he's saying that he's saying that humans may or may not have had it until aliens interacted with us. With us. Well, aliens could have created humanity uh, just by, we could be the product of a virus. That's how we evolved. Could be. So, wow, they eat your virus, too. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> okay. you know, something, something that, that spreads. Millions of years old. Yeah, yeah bacteria. There's nothing that we know older than viruses. That's true. I found out today that. Uh, Christianity was probably one of the most corrupt cultures back in the earlier times. They killed more people than probably the Romans. Well, oh, yeah, most of them yeah, were Roman yeah, for yeah. a while there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mostly everybody was Roman for a well, while. Yeah, had to be. So. Well, well, the Romans came in like people would call the Romans because they're having trouble with this other tribe. So they bring the Romans in to help. Romans come over and Capture both of them. Yep. I mean, you know, and that's that's humanity. I can that's remember what they when do. I thought of Christianity first. I just remember Grandma saying we had to go to church or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That well, was you know, uh, that's that's when you learned about Christianity. You had to go to church. As a child. Now, this <laughs> that's not necessarily a good versus evil situation, but. They always give you like a quarter to put in church. You go to the store and buy a candy bar or a new days of pickle out the jar for a nickel, and then you put 20 cents in. Now that's between you and the Lord. You have to go tell the parents that. I tried it. I tried it. I tried it. I tried it. No, no, but I'm saying before you get to church. We, before we go, before we go to church, mm -hmm. all right, all the little kids are there, we get ready, we get ready basically for church because we were there for Sunday school. Mm -hmm. So in between church and Sunday school, there's some dead time. Mm -hmm. So we all <laughs> run <laughs> to, the store. to the store. And the thing is, you would have two dimes and a nickel, mm -hmm. right? So you would put the dime in Sunday school, you got a dime left for church, so you could spend that nickel, okay? now. Whether the parents knew it or cared or whatever oh, is irrelevant. But what I'm saying is, even as small children, we were devious as hell. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you know, we knew what that money was for. We knew what all that, you know. And maybe the parents gave you two dimes and a nickel instead of a solid quarter. Because you can go and get change at the store still get the two dimes. But the whole I thing is, worry. you know, that's... I even even, even I as even as children, place. we were always trying to get away with something. Mm -hmm. Well, because, not necessarily super evil, but I'm just saying because we because grown ups modeled for us. Well, so and, you yeah. know we were just and we had no and, choice. And, and our generation saw it all on TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What little TV we got? You know. Well, you know, like as, as, we, as we grew up, like ten o'clock. I remember T. I remember TV 
would go off. Remember, it'd go off at night, and, and then they put a on. they put a, a test yeah. test pattern on, yeah. and it would just go beep. Yeah. That turned the sound down, yeah. and then it would just be snow. Mm -hmm. Later on, that became helpful, you know, when we were experimenting with drugs. But when we were, we were kids, the TV would go <laughs> off. Yeah. I remember uh, ABC used to didn't come on until three in the afternoon, Damn. and the first show was American Bandstand. Really? Mm -hmm. How old are you, really? <laughs> <laughs> a year older than you. <laughs> that's, that's Earth years. I'm oh, sorry, oh, cause, the, I mean, oh, 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 cosmically speaking. You remember Wanda the Clown. You remember Wanda the Clown. Wanda, Wanda. Yeah, you remember yeah. Wanda? Yeah. And I didn't know about her because that was, she was a local thing. See, yeah, when I, I didn't when know I came, that. When I came up here, I, we were like, I was like 10 years old. Mm -hmm. And so, like, we're outside playing, right? Me and the kid, uh, my dad's friend's kid. It's like, what time is it? Oh, it's noon. We got to go see Wonder Wonder. I'm like, who and what or what? 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 What the hell? <laughs> and, and, the weird, and the weird part about it, and there's this lady in a clown thing, and she had red, red cheeks and stuff, and she had a little clown, and she would sing her little Wonder. Wonder is my name. Yeah. Oh, boy. You know, that whole thing, right? Yeah. And, and I'm like, what the hell is this? It's, it's new. We should be eating lunch or playing. <laughs> what, we, what is this? You know, but yeah, it was very popular. Just like J.P. Patches. Yeah, but he was more afternoon. Well, yeah. No, he was morning and afternoon. We oh, were watching we before school Oscar. and Oh, and yes. Howdy yes. Duty. That's a YouTube TV set. Right. right. But the yeah. thing about it is, yeah. the fact that he his girlfriend was Gertrude and Gertrude was a man never crossed our mind. Exactly. We never even thought that no. that that Gertrude no. was cross dressing. We just accepted her as her, right. you know. Exactly. And that was and I, I I met both of them out of makeup, you know. And they're they're funny. They're funny as hell. <laughs> but the the whole point is, when they were doing them shows, they were drunk as hell. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's why it was so, I mean, it, when you look back on it, yeah. as a child, you're watching it, you're just accepting what you're yeah. seeing. Yeah. But when you look back on it, you're like, oh, damn, these guys were really, yeah. really mm -hmm. out there. Yeah. 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 Oh, you man. know, and... Uh, yeah, they were, man. Um, Cause my mom's manager was... Uh, uh, they, they did a story on it, too, because she was married to a dude. They stayed in opposite. You know, he stayed up. Uh, she stayed upstairs. He stayed in the basement. Mm -hmm. I forget the name of it. They just revealed that that was a woman. You know, what playing a man? Yeah, playing yeah. a man. But the so whole thing her. is, that was basically the deal was this. Gertrude was a man uh -huh. dressed in women's clothing, and 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 he they really. Never made any yeah, um, suggestion that suggestion yeah, that yeah. he was cross dressing or right. and we were like ten, eleven. So you know it was just like okay, right. boom, that's that's Gertrude right. and and then, and then Gertrude was also uh, catch a cat in the animal man. Oh, and, right, right. And he right. was and, and uh, right. uh, that was that was Bob. Chris was J P. Bob and Bob was. <laughs> He was Catch Can Animal Man, he was Gertrude, and there was one other character that he played. And so we, you still knew that that was yeah. Gertrude, yeah. only Catch Can, but it never. Kids didn't. Kid, you know, kids don't and kids like don't, that. kids don't get that judgment until they follow their parents' lead, right. and until they get old enough to, you know, make the choices and distinguish, et cetera, et cetera. But it's just so weird, and, I, and like JP was on for like years, starting the fifties. Yeah, yeah, he was on for a long time. Yeah. I, I wonder how much they got paid. Yeah, you know, they Back was they the was day, probably yeah. they was probably making a good living because yeah. they were on twice a day, every day, and it cost Monday to through Friday. Too. Yeah. You know, and then like uh, what's that other Captain Future was only on in the afternoons. And uh, Stan, and, and Stan, Stan Bill was the latest yeah. one. He, yeah. 
him and Crazy Donkey came along after. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. yeah and then and it was Stan Borson was the one that had the dog. And the, the, and the, the, the dog, the no squeeze box. Or, uh, yeah. Zero Dacus, Mucho Mucho Crocus. Yeah, yeah. Halloween. It was a whatever, whatever, right. It's amazing how we remember that shit. I remember what we had for breakfast. I didn't see any of that shit. I, I was stuck on Disneyland trying to figure out how to get oh, to the I met from <laughs> See, I knew it. I knew it. Little boys all over America. <laughs> it don't matter if you're from the South, the Midwest, Northeast, Pacific Northwest. If the Mickey Mouse Club, if the Mickey Mouse Club would come on, everybody be glued to the TV on the couch, run home from school, wait for a minute, and you know it's like, hi, I'm Cubby, yeah. <laughs> I'm a net. <laughs> yeah, yes, you are. <laughs> man, man, that I think funny. that influenced me to want to be a drummer because I figured if I could out play Chubby, I could get next. <laughs> Manager married her. Is that well, right? there you go. I mean, he, you, go. you know, he was right in there from the beginning. Yeah, she was a child actress. And, was all and then once she, she got all, once she got all grown up, yeah. You know, I said, oh, that's interesting. He was staring at the calendar. <laughs> you know, Eighteen. <laughs> You know, oh, wait, are you sure he was staring at the calendar? Uh, well, he might be staring at it yet. Like, well, yeah, that's yeah, like, wait till you just get huh? it. No, <laughs> I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm saying the odds are in my favor. There's an 88% chance that I could be correct. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely will in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but no, I, 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 I used to come I, on. I didn't really have a crush on uh, Shirley Temple that much. Shirley what? Temple? Well, she was she was so much older. she was so see she's so much older than us because her movies was in the thirties and the forties and stuff you know but we see them little reruns with Bo Jangles yeah and they'd be dancing up and down the stairs and stuff. So are you a memory guy? No. Uh, so Mae West didn't do anything for you. Oh yeah, she did. <laughs> <laughs> Come up and see me sometime. <laughs> her name, Jake. Her, 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 I mean, you know, I had my dad's influence, you know, so, you know, I knew what she was saying, you okay. know. But uh, who was the other comedian that was always hanging with her? Uh, with her? Uh, W.C. Fields. W.C. Fields. Yeah. I thought yeah. he had it on lock. That's just like Lucille Ball. She was out there like that. Who? Lucille Ball. She was, a, she was an actress before she became Lucy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She... And she was, she was she hard actress. She played some. She played some some glamorous role. Yeah. I mean, she was not yeah. a bad looking woman. Yeah, yeah. She, she was cold. She, she was cold, just me. like Mae West. Though she was cold blooded. Yeah, well, you had to get with Ricky, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ricky well, no, they, but they they, <laughs> they 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 changed so much in the industry. Yeah, oh, especially yeah. with her being as powerful as she got with Desi Lu Studios. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then the fact that he was a minority mm -hmm. starring in the show with her. Uh -huh. And they were married, even though they wouldn't let him sleep in the same bed. That's the thing about the 50s. If right. you look at them old mm -hmm. sitcoms and stuff, they got yeah. twin beds. Yeah, all the time. Right. Yep. And then uh, Lucy couldn't, uh, couldn't say the word pregnant when she was pregnant. They went through the whole thing uh -huh. with, when they had little Ricky. Mm -hmm. Did she have a speech impediment? No. The censors wouldn't let her use the word pregnant. So what did they... I... They just, they just used other words with child or bun in the oven or whatever the hell, but they wouldn't let her say that particular word. Mm. You know what? I watched the documentary on Desi and Lucy. Mm -hmm. And they talked about that, and so what ended up happening was Desi had written a song, and somebody had, uh, well, anyway, they wrote it into the show where he sang this song right. that announced to the world that they were having a baby. Yeah, but they never yeah. said the word pregnant because of the censorship uh, 
committee or the people you know in charge yeah. of uh, television programming right. back then. Back then, speaking of censorship, how censored were we back then? Oh, really? Uh, quite, 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 you quite, quite, quite censored. <laughs> because quite censored. Ozzy and Harriet, you never heard them give any kind of tribute to uh, adoption. Uh -huh. You know, mm -hmm. you never heard it once. But because they didn't sleep in the same bed. So right. they could not have had kids. So that's why. That, yeah, that's why they couldn't be pregnant. If, if you're over here and you're over there, you know, you ain't, you don't have that kind of reach, do you? <laughs> Mandingo! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, come on. So no, maybe they Stop roll out the bed and meet on the floor. Stop I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, I would hope that everything was so family oriented. So, you know, I see the area. A lot of the movies were back then were. You know, well, that, but that's what that that was. That, or you were paying. that was that was well, white America because they controlled everything that's on TV. They right. they, they you know. So so we we you know it's like it's like Beaver Cleavers. Mom. Oh my God, June right? Oh, oh. She walking around in a little frock. With pearls and pumps doing housework. Yeah. Exactly. I, I mean, come on. Yeah. You know, when you walk home and, and 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 you see your mom or your grandma or or your auntie or whatever, and when it's you know clean up there on Saturday, she's got a rag around her head, got the old clothes and the and an apron, and yeah. she get busy. Then the rest of the time, you know, she just be like dressed casually and. You know, but she I, didn't have I a string of pearls Easter or egg and little shop of horrors, too. Huh? That was an Easter egg and little shop of horrors. Remember when she was singing her song and she was dreaming about being in the home and everything and their TV dinners on the no. TV. <laughs> and had a little dressing. Now, there was a lot of hypocrisy, and as kids, it didn't matter to us. But looking back, uh, America wanted to be so... Christian like and pious. Of course. All the cowboy shows, 99% of them, mm -hmm. had no women. Bonanza, he had three sons, no women. Oh, yeah. Gus Smoke, uh, he was scared as hell of, from my, <laughs> Michael, <laughs> Michael, <laughs> Michael Landon. Michael Michael Landon was on the Tonight Show. <laughs> oh, <you're talking> about? <laughs> he talked about that? And he said, and, and John Carson said, <laughs> It was just you, four men, you know, and uh, it was, you know, the three boys and, and Lauren Green, and then they had a, 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 a houseboy. And so he said, What was she? What? Barbara Stanley. No, that was, that was Big Valley. Big Valley. Anyway, right. yes. anyway, Carson says, Well, with all those men and their women, you know, said, Michael Ender said, Well, we weren't gay, but fortunately, Hop Singh was. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, that was the thing. There was no women like you're talking about, you know. And then if there were women, they got smacked around. Cause right now on all of the westerns that come on, the old school westerns, they put a disclaimer on there and said uh, outdated concepts or whatever, because they was just smacking women around. Yeah. Well, like, you know, like Rooster Cogburn with John Wayne. <laughs> John Wayne. You were smacking around. <laughs> I love you. Yeah. And then, the, and then now, what message was that? And then uh, there was that one movie where I think it was Humphrey Humphrey Bo Bogart. Humphrey, and, I keep wanting to say yeah. what you just call him. You just call him Humpty Bulldog. <laughs> but anyway, Humphrey Bogart put that grapefruit in that woman's face. Yeah, yeah, that movie. yeah. 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 I can't think of that. Well, well, and, but I mean, though, that's ooh. that's the way that women were portrayed in. The 30s, 40s, 50s, it's like, the, yeah. it's like, like people be like, yeah, if they don't, if, if, if some woman don't get smacked, it wasn't a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, what the hell? You know, but, in then your on, place. but then and on top of that, everybody they were, else too. Uh -huh. All white males dominated. Oh, for sure. And, and then they would have all these different people playing other people. Yes. Because mm -hmm. I've seen this one guy be. An Indian, an Italian, a, Mexican. It's just Mexican, yeah. And, yeah. and they would have, and they would always. I said, well, you know, we're not going to get ethnic actors, you know. And then, 
Every now and then you see Sammy Davis Jr. in a western. Yeah. Wow. He was on the rifle man. Yeah. The rifle man. Because I always wanted a gun. Well, of course. Yeah, the, I, the, have shit. Yeah. Oh, I have one. I have one. I have one. Watch it. Oh, yeah. I have right. one. I got right. mine. But uh, it just, looking back to me, that, that's coming off as gay as hell right now. Because what was his son's name? Mark. 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 Pa. 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 Can I have a girlfriend? <laughs> no, Mark. No, go. <laughs> He had a sweetie though. Yeah, he did. You know, the, the woman who ran the store in yeah, town. Yeah. The dark haired woman. After a bit, that she wasn't right away. Did they ever kiss? No. Uh, no. Did they, they ever touch? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And then, and then there was, was and then there was a one line oh. where he he dropping her off. You know, pulled up the buckboard and everything, and she says, "Oh, I forgot my shoes." I went, "Ooh!" Oh, out there, yeah, out there, out there, there on the midnight ride, and she come back without her shoes on. Hey, yeah, you know, because you know, because oh, well, yeah, showing ankle was going not to the river. No, no, show, show showing ankle show was a little, you know, show, and, and, and calf is out of the question. Mm -hmm. They had them dresses down down there to the floor, and yeah. then. Uh, they all had, you know, a little sweetie, but they never really, because there was this one called Lawman. Yes. Yeah, I remember Lawman. Yeah, Man, and, they, tall, and then, like, Man. after the first couple of seasons, they had this woman that was running the saloon, and she was after him, and he kept, you know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a Lawman, and that was his whole thing. Now, but, they did you know, have women run the saloon. Yeah. So what, used, what was the message? Well, originally women couldn't even go into saloons. Right. So what? What was they? So this was later in the 1800s. Yeah. That okay, women could run the saloon, but they couldn't. They couldn't be the hero or the co-hero. And they also couldn't vote. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't. They didn't treat them right then or now. That's what? Right. True. <laughs> so, but hey, they made good school teachers. Yep, they did start bringing in women for school okay. teaching from the east. Yes, always from yeah, the east. Yes, that, you know, what, what, Boston What was our west? Hmm? Huh? What was our west for them to bring in? Nothing. They had to bring everything from back east, including their own sorry butts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, the, the Pacific Ocean hadn't been invented then, so they had to bring them from the yeah, and then and then with the Louisiana Purchase, the, the country, <laughs> the country teachers. like doubled in size. So they said, "Oh, Them teachers make manifest you, destiny. We got to get to the other ocean." They sent Lewis and Clark and everything. So you, you think your teacher was good in grade school? If she wasn't, I had a so ass for nothing. <laughs> my, my I was. could make a mistake in grade school. You, did you say I made first a mistake on the checkerboard? <laughs> oh, Paint right the checkerboard, oh, black and first red. First grade, but first grade, I lived a block from my teacher. Yeah, I was her name, Miss Booker. She used to live on the other end of the block, and then we lived like a block from a block and a half from the the school. So you know, yeah, you, yeah, she. I didn't she really was, have problems she was with teacher, teacher she, until I got yeah, to junior She didn't take no nonsense. Some junior high. Oh, got and mad. she was black. That teacher did ask me what do my people call the organ grinder man. What do your people call? Yeah, what do my people call the organ grinder man? The organ grinder man? Oh, that was a joke. No, she was supposed to have been doing foreign uh, topics and stuff, and you know, things that people do in other foreign countries. And, I failed a spelling bee because she asked me how do I spell hippopotamus and I said H-I-P-P -P, and I said hippopotamus. She said, no, that's not it. And everybody started laughing about it because I was summing the word out, you know. Well, of course. And that's she sat me down and then she go to this other topic and going to say, well, over here they have a, a man that goes around with a little monkey on and, you know, he was already getting there, you know. Right. With a little monkey on the box and dances and then collects his money and stuff like Oh, I don't know. What Jake, what do your people call an organ grinder man? I said, shit, an organ grinder man. Oh, what's what's, me out of the class, what's an organ grinder? Yeah, you know, I'm kicked me out of the class. I had her in two subjects. She wouldn't let me back in. I ended up failing the second 
seventh grade, because my mom didn't know the laws about education. But the thing Behind is, that, that, that was the problem with all them supposedly standardized tests. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, the black kids can't. Well, the thing is, a lot of the things that you refer yeah, to in that test are well, not good. in the projects. <laughs> yeah. Say, yeah. for instance, something as simple as a cup and saucer. Yeah. 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 Now, we would have, you know, we had a cup, cup. but not necessarily a whole set of china to where you set the, the saucer down so a lot of kids didn't know what the hell a saucer was yeah so that's you know and just like they say what do you call a, an organ grinder the hell's an organ grinder yeah you know that's how you know and that's you know, how yeah. yeah and so then they basically you know, that, that was a mistake it wasn't the order but or, or, organ grinder it was, the, uh, it was shit huh it was shit you said shit. I, I said shit. Shit, shit. shit got me kicked out the class. Well, I was mad away. anyway. When she got to the monkey part, I got mad anyway. You well, know? Yeah. <laughs> then, I said shit, organ grinding man. Everybody said ooh, and Ooh, she I kicked know. me out. But you that know, that, that's a good point about where we are in America today. Um, Can you say with that? with uh, Jeopardy. Yeah. Jeopardy is set up for highly educated usually well-to-do, Eurocentric people. Mm -hmm. So if you're a person of color, probably black, you do good on Jeopardy, that's probably going to be an investigation because <laughs> yeah. it's well, not designed for you to be successful, just successful yeah, yeah. without... You, I don't care who the maid was for Duchess Lillian back in 1472. Mm -hmm. I have no clue. That wasn't on my to-do list. <laughs> or, what, or what book she might have read. <laughs> or what book she might have read. It wasn't designed well, yeah. for us. So, uh, so white folks, um, you don't have to fear that you're losing anything in America today because there's some things you'll always have. Yeah, but most of them can't answer the questions neither. Well, I'm just saying in general. <laughs> so, you'll, you'll always have jeopardy. <laughs> Those are yep. special folks. You'll always have curling. What is it? There's a on on uh, what's that called? Um, my um, oh man, masterminds. They have a brother on there as one of the masterminds. That's a trivia show. Real okay. And they have, they have they have the the guy who uh, the Jeopardy guy Ken Jennings is one of the masterminds. And there's this uh, a woman named uh, Muffy, and then the brother. And he's like a chess champion, okay. and as well as a trivia expert. And it's amazing, you know, the, the, the knowledge that he has on stuff. And, and those questions are a little less Eurocentric yeah. than Jeopardy. So, but, but, but they got I mean, it's trivia. Yeah, but and yes. he, but he's the only. Okay. He's the only. He's the only. Um, um, black guy. Okay, don't yeah. accept. But one. there is a black no. There's they a black woman that's also a mastermind you know, too. That, that was well, thing. it's but like I say, it's, that's it's good. It's the but it's but moment. it's rare, and the whole thing is, it's because of inequality in education or Eurocentric education. I mean, we're most most of our most of the education that we run across in this country is Eurocentric. Well, because now they start all of a sudden. Oh, now we have black history. We didn't always have black history, yeah. but it was always there. No, I know it was there, but what they I'm never saying is they to, never taught it exactly to us exactly. or them. Exactly, they ignored it. In fact, I guarantee you, and we'll never live long enough to prove this. If you had three black people on Jeopardy, mm -hmm. and let's say they all did well. Within a week, it will be take it off the air. <laughs> take it off. Take it off. Yeah, it'd have to be a week because the first you get take that long for their heads to die. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what I will yeah. say this. <laughs> but I've seen I've one, seen one, several one, black. One, one of my favorite. One of my okay. favorite games to play on my iTab uh -huh. is Jeopardy, mm -hmm. and it goes from this level all the way up to the top. Uh -huh. It's very hard at the bottom of it. It's very hard at the top of it. <laughs> but if you get there in the middle, in the middle, yeah, that's where we at. Well, I invented 
in my living room, anti Jeopardy. Hear me out. Hear me out. Well, I sit down and watch it, and I go, No, I don't know that. <laughs> what is? I don't, no, I don't know that. No, no, I don't know that. <laughs> It's getting near that time, isn't it? Yeah, it's about that time. So now it's time to say goodbye <laughs> to all our, our company. company. <laughs> M-I-C. See you real soon. K-E-Y. Why? Because we, we love, love you. you. <laughs> M-O-U-S-E. -E. Cha-cha-cha. So, hey. <laughs> Lightning Thanks. jumps in my for joining us for another stimulating episode of Old Black Men Conversations. I'm one of your co-hosts. We'll see you again next weekend. I'm Cliff Barnes, the real Cliff Barnes, and it's been a pleasure sharing our uh, wisdom yes. with you. Yes. Shake it, boo. You figure it out. <laughs> And I'm the philosopher, and here are my words of the week for you. If you're not being successful right now, don't give up because the road to success is still under construction. Amen. If it don't work, Peace out. it'll suck. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> don't work.